So far, Benitas police have found at least 13 dogs who all appear to have died in the same manner. We spoke to a resident whose dog is fighting for her life and he wants answers. Just yesterday, Princess was her normal self. She, you know, likes to play around with, uh, with my grandson. But now Princess is fighting for her life. Sunday owner Jaime Fernandez noticed a change in her behavior. I looked around at her and then I saw her laying down on the side of the house and she didn't get up from there. Princess had diarrhea and was lethargic. But she is not the only one. Many owners in this part of North Benitas had dogs with similar symptoms. She, I thought she was going to die last night. So far, 13 dogs have been reported dead since Sunday, all within three blocks of each other. One thing in common with all these cases is that residents have found a bright red meat in their dog's throw up, leading many to believe their dogs were poisoned. It's strange. Uh, that's why I have my officers out there canvassing the area to see if anybody, if anybody saw anything or suspicious. Some dogs were not affected, mostly dogs chained to trees or that are kept indoors. I think that somebody that doesn't like animals, uh, you know, played a joke or something that thought it was funny. Or Police say if the dogs were poisoned, the suspect could face multiple animal cruelty charges. But while residents wait for answers, Jaime prays his princess will survive to see another day. I think it's sad because uh, a lot of those dogs are family members. I spoke with several residents around here. One in particular says she had to have her dog put down because his symptoms were too severe. She says she hopes that whoever did this is caught. Reporting in Benitas, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.